But today is a big episode because I'm going to tell you a story about a wrestling company. A wrestling company that was heading into its all-important media renewal negotiations. Those negotiations would dictate the financial future of the company for years to come. But going into this negotiation, there were serious concerns. There were issues. Many were questioning the company's leadership. Everyone had an opinion about the company's chief executive. Fans were turning away from the product. TV ratings were down. TV ratings in the demo were down. Attendance was down. But nonetheless, when the deal was announced, the wrestling company got a huge, huge increase in media rights fees. The name of this company is World Wrestling Entertainment. The year was 2018. And WWE, despite declining in, in popularity, consumer metrics, attendance, TV ratings, it more than tripled its domestic media rights fees. We finally have the news. The deal is finally finalized. With three months left on its current deal that ends at the very end of this year, Warner Brothers Discovery and AEW have come to an agreement in 2024, much like WWE in 2018. While its popularity has declined, what really mattered all along for WWE in 2018 was the rank. And as we can see here, as that deal neared for WWE in 2018, their viewership ranking, among other programming generally, quite stable among the top three at worst four programs on the day. And this is what has really mattered for AEW as well. The ranking, despite attendance being down, despite TV ratings, the volume of viewership being down, even we can say it's worse than the rate of cord cutting. Yes, it is. But the ranking among other programming, especially in the case of Dynamite, has continued to be quite strong. The decline in viewership for Dynamite, the decline in viewership in the demo for Dynamite, the decline in attendance in the, in the first nine months of each year, the decline in the average attendance in the first nine months of each year. It's remarkably similar to the story of WWE heading into its renewal last cycle in 2018, a time at which Tony Khan evaluated that there was a business opportunity here and maybe nobody better than him to act on that opportunity, given his access to at least two very important things an immense amount of cash from his family and the connections that he has via the NFL to various television networks who are willing to take meetings, apparently, with somebody who's closely connected to an NFL franchise. What's the AAV? Let's all fight about it now. Come on. We have this, this number that I'll put on the chart is 178. Why are you putting 178? I thought it was 185. I'm going to put 178 on this chart because it is the median value of what Sports Business Journal has reported, 170, and the 185 that Variety and others have reported. We'll get into later about what, what, what this AAV really is. I think it's mostly cash, but it's probably something else too. But like WB in 2018, AEW has defied things like popularity, trends in ticket sales, which once dictated everything in the wrestling business, certainly in, in, in the 70s, the 80s, and into the 90s. You got to put butts in seats. It's nice to put butts in seats today in the 2020s, but what really matters is your rank among other television properties, which wrestling fans are not watching very closely. They're watching wrestling very closely, and they can see they can see the pictures on social media that people, people post of, of empty seats, an entire side of the arena vacant. But that's not what really dictates the financial future of the biggest wrestling companies, at least those based in the United States. What dictates your financial future among at least these two top wrestling companies in the United States and in the world is your ranking among other programming generally. How do you compare to The Challenge, to Fox News, to other live sports programming, which is highly viewed? WN and AEW. Oh, yes, both of them. Both sides rank really well. And while they do, they will be quite valuable properties as long as the media industry continues to be what it is. 